Hey there. So Kevin Smith was absolutely trashed by some parts of the media, and they weren't going after him for terrible takes or Masters of the Universe. Oh no, they were going after him for this, crying selfies. Ah, exposing the fraud of the Weepy Mill selfie. Ah, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Now, when this article says exposed, too, they are exposing him for being fake. Hey, this is my immediate reaction after watching something a third time. Here's my other reaction after watching it twice. You know what's coming, and yet this, this is supposed to be your reaction, and you pull up a selfie. Yeah, that doesn't seem fake at all, does it? Now, I never realized how often he posts these things, either. Here's him crying after WandaVision, for example. Here's him posting on an airline, Virgin American flight, because he watched the Arrival movie. And that list, well, let's just say it keeps going on and on and on. Yep, you and I, we're going to talk about this laughter. I mean, we're going to talk about this article today. And remember, this isn't about somebody crying because they have an emotional reaction. This is about a guy that posts himself crying so often that he becomes a know your meme category. The media, them pointing this out, that's absolutely hilarious to me. You and I, like I said, we're going to talk about that today. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. Ah, oh, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And I ran across this article and other articles like it going down that rabbit hole while looking for feedback on Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 2. That thing, it didn't chart on Netflix. You didn't really hear anything about it at all. So I was wondering how the media took it. And instead, I found this. Exposing the fraud of the weepy male selfie, Kevin Smith used uses teary-eyed selfies as currency for his honest, quote-unquote, soft boy persona. But there's a difference between honesty and vulnerability. Now, just to be clear, Kevin Smith, he does this in real life, too. He sends pictures of himself crying to people that work for him. Masters of the Universe Revelation writers, they actually laughed at him for this in interviews. You can even see this mentioned in headlines, like this one from Collider. Now, I mention that because this article, it only covers what goes on online. And what's funny is it has a good laugh at it, too. It says, last year, you know, I outlined selfie archetypes of straight men. You have the fish guy on Bumble, the newly single dad, the blurry bathroom selfie, the little lip bite there. But there's a new pose in the pantheon of dude selfies, and it's perhaps the most oppressively male yet, the red-eyed crier. Now, further into the article, it highlights just how many times that Kevin Smith has actually done this. And like I was saying before, I didn't realize there were so many pictures like this posted by Kevin Smith himself. Listen to this here, too. Watched it three times. Loved it all. Show was everything I wanted it to be. For the folks who say I cry over movies or TV because I'm too stoned, I haven't smoked weed in a week. Stop blaming the herb. I'm just a soft boy. Anyway, goodbye, one division. We'll say hello again. And again, he posts himself crying online because that that's become his persona. By the way, what in the heck is on your lip, Kevin Smith? Now, they know what this is trying to convey here, too, and I don't know about you, but this seems kind of sad when you think about it. Hey, I'm having an emotional reaction to something. Quick, let me grab my phone and take a couple of selfies. Quote, in the close-up shots of his face, Smith has just finished crying after the third viewing of WandaVision. So he's watched it three times now, and he's still supposedly having a reaction like that. Yeah, kind of hard to buy. It's not the most flattering pictures, blotching red eyes, flushed cheeks, wet eyelids, and one too many fun coat pops in the background. It's not supposed to be flattering, though. It's supposed to be raw. Kevin Smith was so moved by the experience watching his superhero TV show, admittedly one about grief, that he had to pick up his phone and snap an immediate selfie of his emotional reaction. Now, the article goes on to point out that this, it's not a one and done. He's been doing this for a while now. Like we were saying earlier, bug-eyed front camera selfies are so much his thing that he has a Kevin Smith crying certified meme. In December, 
He posted tear-eyed reactions to finishing The Mandalorian. He'd done that before with Captain Marvel, with The Arrival, with Star Wars The Force Awakens. Like I said, he does that in real life, too. And then they note something here that I thought was kind of interesting. Disney better be sending him eye drops and tissues for his constant promo work. Huh, so you do it so often, and you do it with a certain brand, a brand that you want to work with, by the way. Yeah, that's an interesting thought, isn't it? This stuff, it's his version of promo. Here's that reaction to Mandalorian, by the way. And the thing that stuck out to me here wasn't what he had to say. I'm not going to read all of this either because there is quite a bit there. But the likes on this, 107,032 likes. People, they responded positively, at least in the beginning, to him doing this. Now, like I was saying at the beginning, the article goes on to note that this, it doesn't just happen in the privacy of his own home. And again, think about this. Your own on a airline flight. He says, not crying on a virgin American flight because I was barked at or dragged, just watched a rival movie again. So again, this isn't his first time that he's watched this. He's watching it in public. And well, it's such a beautiful piece of sci-fi that I had an emotional reaction on a plane. Hey, I gotta take a selfie and show you. Huh, seems weird, right? Now this article, it makes a good point about this being his promo type, too. You know why saying that this, it's disingenuous. Why exactly are you doing it? Here, for example, he's talking about watching Captain Marvel. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this picture. He says, I'm a blubbering mess after watching it. Blubbering mess. After a lifetime spent referencing the movies, the movies just referenced me. Then he tags in all of these different folks. Folks, by the way, that just two months ago he was saying, I would love to be in their movies. I would love to work with them. But yeah, this this is supposed to be genuine, right? Again, they're calling that out. And the more you see it, the more you see it referenced with things that either involve him, he wants to be part of, or that he's seen over and over again from specific companies, the more this sticks out as a glaring, yeah, there's something wrong. Now, this article, they point that out, too, saying, you know what? You could argue that he's having an emotional reaction, and bravo to that. However, nothing's terribly earnest about his repeated reaction to tentpole movies and TV shows. Instead, it comes across as stolen valor for being an emotionally attuned man, as if the act of crying is proof of the quality of both himself and the film he's just seen. To that end, what he's actually doing is putting the focus on himself, rather than simply giving props to the person for creating something so compelling as to it making him cry. Now, there are other points being made, too, but yeah, I mean, this, I thought, calling out the fraud that is this. I watched this three times. Hey, this is my immediate reaction. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, I watched Arrival yet again. This is my reaction. I'm on a plane here. Hey, I'm sending selfies to people I work with. This is my reaction. Yeah, that's branding. That's trying to sell a persona. That's not real at all. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. Maybe you think something different. Let me know about that and as always appreciate the heck out of you you make this stuff work so thank you appreciate that too want to help out the channel by the way links in the description you being here though that is the biggest help of all so thank you appreciate you and i'm going to end here see you soon